Hi, I'm Calamity Candace. Hank the Cow Dog and I welcome you to Heritage Park. Heritage Park was the dream of the late J. Willis Johnson to have a place that our wonderful ranch heritage and culture of our area is honored. Heritage Park is a public park that is privately funded. The Johnson family gave the land on which I stand. Heritage Park is located in the heart of historic downtown San Angelo. It's hard to believe there were no buildings here. We like to think of Heritage Park as the anchor on the north part of Oak Street, our historic street, our historic corridor, and our National Historic Landmark, Fort Concho, as the anchor on the south, with lots of great history in between. We are proud of the pioneers that came and went through sickness and many other obstacles to settle our land. Their names are behind me here on the wall, and their families honored them by having them represented here in Heritage Park. One of the important features in Heritage Park is this beautiful bronze rendering of a rancher and his horse. Notice that the horse's head is bent down, emulating that he might be getting a drink out of that water feature, which is a great example of water reclamation and recycling. The same water trickles through the water feature all day long. This beautiful rendering was given by the Johnson family as well as the land that the park stands on in memory of our first sheriff, John Willis Johnson, who there are reportedly some crazy antics that are associated with him, like maybe threatening people if they left San Angelo and didn't stay here to make their home. So we know that maybe his heart was in the right place, but there are some wild stories about John Willis Johnson. But his grandson, Jay Willis Johnson, gave this land and it was his idea for this park to honor ranch history and ranch heritage and culture. As you see behind me is our rainwater harvesting tower, our water catchment tower, and it represents water reclamation and recycling. It is a replica, and I'll let you think for a minute about what a replica is. I bet you said a copy or a stand-in, and that's exactly right. This is a replica of an old cistern. Many cisterns like you see behind me were located in the ground, and they collected rainwater. So we did not invent, invent water recycling. It's been going on for a long time. When you visit the park, there is a video on the side of this building that's a standalone, and a rancher will tell you about how he's still doing this today in a ranch by Abernethy near Lubbock. The water reclamation tower has a tank on the top that is made out of cypress that came off, speaking of recycling, came off the coast of Florida. It was on the ocean floor for over 100 years. I'm always asked, why was it there? And many students tell me they think an old shipwreck. So I'll let you decide. But it looks pretty good to be that old. The tank holds 2,000 gallons of water. The bottom where the cistern rests, the house that it rests upon, is called the cool house. Long ago, maybe people put a deer, turkey, or ham that they needed to keep cold in this cool house. They didn't have a refrigerator. But today, it houses our computer technology. So we are very proud of our water reclamation, rainwater harvesting tower. Another special feature in Heritage Park is our Monarch Butterfly Feeding Station. We are proud that this is nationally registered. Things are planted here that attract monarch butterflies that they like to eat. So we hope they will stop by in October on their way south to Mexico. We've also had two monarch butterfly releases in the park. Behind me, beautiful leaf features cover the park. And as the boss says, it's always cooler in the shade. And believe it or not, not only are they cosmetically appealing, but they do make a difference. These leaf features were born out of an idea, speaking of our boss, that was seen by Mr. and Mrs. Lee Fluger on a trip to Brazil. And they brought this back and thought this would be an attractive feature for the park. Mr. Fluger was the chairman of this committee that brought the dream of J. Willis Johnson to fruition. When you visit Heritage Park, you can hear the story of the life of August Lee Fluger, Saul Meyer, the Mertz family, and many others. But I wanted to tell you about Dan Glass for a specific reason. 
His plaque is not along with the other plaques, but positioned here at the ramp for a special reason. Living in Sterling City, Dan Glass did many things in his life to help those with disability. And I will tell you that the park is disability compliant. The American Disabilities Act makes sure that all of us do our best to help people be able to go to restaurants and other places, parks that maybe are in wheelchairs. So we thought it was fitting that Dan Glass's plaque would be right here, not by the steps, but by the ramp leading up to our stage. So we again thank all the families who honored their loved ones in this park. When you're in Heritage Park, you may notice that everything behind Hank's wall, yes, I'll introduce you soon, is representative of something pre-1900. But St. Angelo did not stay in that era. It began to change and grow. The red brick donor wall is representative of those changes. This wall houses the names of the committee and people that worked on the park, our beloved pioneers that are honored here, in-kind donors, and foundations that made this park possible through their donations, and our large interactive screen that is controlled by our kiosk and can let you know many things about this park and other things that are pertinent in San Angelo. As our donor wall is in red brick, so is the building behind us. So this shows that modernization and buildings begin to change and things begin to happen. Now remember, or did I tell you that I'm a retired teacher? Well, you know, with a retired teacher, a test is gonna come along. And we, using our kiosk, that works with our big screen TV, are gonna have a little test. We will first hear from Jimmy Powell, and he will tell us how the sheep business began in Texas. And then we will hear from Marilyn Bean, and she will talk about an animal that definitely made a difference financially. And then a very special video, Patsy Eckert. And she'll talk about her great-grandfather, Ferdinand Noki, and uh, maybe a crazy Wild West tale about him in the Civil War. I'll let you decide. Business in Texas began the day the sheep got off the train. And Big Lake, Texas. Joe loved his cattle. They were very dear to him. And when he was younger, he could identify each cow by something different that he saw in the cattle. Uh, but it was the sheep that paid our way. He fought through all the years of the war they said that he had 13 horses shot out from under him. How well did you listen? Jimmy Powell said business began in Texas the day the sheep got off the train in Big Lake. You got it. Marilyn Bean said that Joe Bean loved his cattle. He could even tell them apart. But it was the sheep that made the money. The sheep paid their way. Did you get that right? And then what about Ferdinand Noki and his time in the Civil War? 13 horses shot out from under him? Hmm, really? I'm not that great in math, but that guy was really lucky or he knew how to duck that 13 horses were shot and he still survived. So from your home, our classroom, on the website, you can watch these videos and many others that tell you about our wonderful pioneers. Now, what if you come to the park sometime and you're here and a family is up here and they're using the kiosk and they're watching a video about Old San Angelo, Angelo State University, Goodfellow Air Force Base, Fort Conchal National Historical Landmark, and you really want to hear about the pioneers, simply go over to whichever bronze plaque you want to using your phone or maybe your parents' phone. We've got a QR, and I know that you know what that means. Students have helped me to learn a lot during this journey. And you can watch the individual story that you want to hear. And of course, from your home, all of these things are accessible to you. But remember, we love to have you live in the park, and I'll give information about that at the end. The moment you've all been waiting for, the introduction of yes, the focal point of the park, 
Hank the Cow Dog. Hank the Cow Dog was created by author John Erickson, who we were privileged to have here in the park in 2018. And believe it or not, book 77 is fixing to come out. John Erickson did something a little different in partnership with the Ranch Heritage Center at Texas Tech in Lubbock when he did a series on ranch books, pretty much how to be a rancher. He departed from his normal mystery case solving epics. So Hank's book that we use a lot in the park is Ranch Life, Ranching and Livestock, volume one in the ranch series. In this book, we discuss a really bad word, a dirty word in Texas, drought. And doesn't that fit in with what we talked about with the water reclamation tower and water recycling and being a good steward of our natural resources, taking care of not wasting water. We discussed that with Hank and it's in his book. Ranchers are talked about, the different types of cattle, the different seasons and what that means on a ranch. And there's a quiz at the end. And the last question on the quiz says, please help me with this so he won't be upset. Who is the best looking cow dog in Texas? You guessed it, it is Hank. So if you visit Heritage Park, be sure and get a picture made with Hank. Pet his head for good luck. Oh, I need to ask him something. Hank, are you a smart dog? If you are, don't bark. He's pretty smart, isn't he? Hank the Cow Dog books, of course, are available online, and he even has a Facebook page. But I would love for you to get your Hank the Cow Dog book at the Cactus Bookshop in San Angelo, Texas, in the heart of downtown on historic Block 1 Concho Street. Thank you for coming along on this journey through Heritage Park. Hank and I would love to see you at any time. Please remember that families come on private tours we welcome all groups from churches, scout troops, organizations, and there is no charge for any field trip. Don't forget to check us out on our Facebook page, our website, heritageparksanangelo.com, and you can email Calamity and Hank at heritageparksanangelo at gmail.com or call us, and Hank might answer, you never know, at 325-763-7387. Come see us. Happy trails.